in this tutorial let's see how we can download and install LED Edit 2025 version 10.1. Okay, click on the download link in the description of this video and go to the link. All right. Once you in that website, go scroll down, click on download LED Edit 2025. Then again, download and it will start downloading. Once downloaded, click on the compressed uh, file that you have downloaded and you can drag and drop the file, set of file inside that zip folder. Once you extracted the file, double click on the set up file it will ask for your permission click on yes uh, in the setup wizard click on next and you can select uh, install location for the program click on browse and select the preferred location i'm going to leave it as the default click on next and this one for start menu i'm going to click next this is for the desktop icons and quick launch icons i'm going to leave them as default now i'm going to click on install it will take some time all right let's see Okay, once installed, I'm going to click on finish with launch LED edit and select it. Now it will launch the LED edit software. In the first window, you will see an update pop up. You can cancel it by clicking here or you can click here and let it update to the newest version. I'm going to cancel it for now. All right, this is the LED Edit 2025 version 10.1. Let's create a simple project and see what's new. I'm going to create new project, click on new, and I'm going to select T-1000 pixel LED controller and yeah, 1024 pixel LEDs. Now I'm going to select a different file path for the project. In this case, desktop. I'm going to create a new folder there. Okay. Uh, I'll name it as a pixel LED. All right, now click on Save. This step is important because you can select a location for your project and also for the exported files to be saved. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to the Layout Editor. This is the Layout Editor. I'm going to create a 32 by 32 panel layout using auto layout creator. Right now, I'm going to place it here. As you can see, the port 1 is connected to this pixel LED string. Now I'm going to save and close the LED edit layout creator. Now we have the panel here. 
going to select the part and go into the program. I'm going to use the default program. You can create new programs for each of your uh, animation or the effect. Then I'm going to effect tab. I'm going to use a default effect from the library. Uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm going to use five. All right, now it's playing, still not recorded. I'm going to use fast recording video to record this animation. So I don't have to go through, stop recording and start recording. I don't have to go through that uh, process. This will record the entire animation with a one click. Now to playback, click here. You will see the playback of the recorded animation. Click here to pause. Okay, that's it. Or uh, you can import a video from uh, outside or from your disk. You can screen record and you can do many more. You have custom uh, animation creation uh, here. You can create your own animations using this custom tab. And also you can split the panel to different segments and you can create uh, different animations for each segment. We have talked about that also in our previous lessons. You can check them out. Now I'm going to export this recorded animation. Click on export and uh, this is the option that I'm going to use. Export LED slash bin file. I will generate LED slash bin files. Uh, you can select the pixel LED um, chip from this list. As you can see, we have new chips. I'm going to use WS2811. Also, you can tweak with these values, but I'm going to leave them as default and click ok now export is success go to the project folder inside you will see a folder called led all right once you inside that folder you will see a controller one uh, folder where we have the program one dot led this is the file that you need to copy to your sd card of the pixel led controller that's it uh, there are many new features in this led edit version and i will try to cover these things in another tutorial that's it for now thank you for watching see you in another tutorial.